Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at setting up Visual Studio for Unreal Engine game development. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. The Unreal Engine is a cross-platform game engine targeting DirectX, both the 11 and 12 for PC and Xbox game development. OpenGL for iOS, o, um, OS X and Android game development. And then the WebGL for any web-based game development. So Unreal Engine games can be programmed using C++ and Unreal Visual Scripting Framework called Blueprints. So basically, Visual Studio serves as a powerful IDE which is integrated development environment and a debugger when you're using C++ for Unreal game development. So enough of all the talking. So in this video, we look at the steps here that you need to take to be able to program your game inside a Visual Studio. So first of all, we have to make sure that we've got Visual Studio installed. So as you can see here now, I'm just going to install the community versions. Yeah. So once you're about to install the community version here, yeah, so you get this workload up in there. So here you have to be, you have to install this, yeah. Um, desktop development with C++, yeah. This will actually install all the C++ workloads. And then game development with C++. Yeah, so that's all we're gonna look for here now. So we're just going to install while downloading. So we click install, yeah. So this might take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video. So I'll come back when the whole thing is ready. So we've got now we've got a Visual Studio installation completed. So we're just going to get that one started. We choose our theme. So we're just going to wait for a moment for it to start. So as you can see now, we've got a Visual Studio 2022 opened. Yeah, so make sure you close the Visual Studio installer as well. So we click on the create a new project. So we select um, C++. Yeah, so we scroll down. So as you can see here now, we've got Epic Games Launcher. That's the Unreal Engine. So we click on it here and then we click on the next. So this will actually open another Visual Studio installer. Yeah. So we just wait yeah so as you can see here yeah, this is the individual component that will be actually installed see yeah so here if we look at visual studio will close automatically right so the space required is 1.14 gig and the download size is um, 354 yeah so we click on install and we should get the whole thing started yeah so i'm just going to pause it but whenever anything comes up yeah i'll just come back quickly so now, as you can see now, the download and installation is completed. Yeah, so I'm just going to close this here. So now we should have the, we should, we've got the Visual Studio started. So I'm just going to minimize it here. So what we do next is we're just going to wait for that loading to stop. I'm just going to pause it for a moment. Yeah, so what we do next is we click on this. So we've got this icon created here, the Epic Games Launcher. So we click on it. So here, this is what we get. So we allow the network access. So, so we get the Epic Game Launcher verifying whatever components that it is. So I'm just going to pause it for, it, for the whole thing to load. So this is what I actually get. An app on your PC needs the following. So I'm just going to... Yeah, so basically a new version of the system software is available yeah so continue so basically wait while we start your update so that's what, what i was saying here is that they say that i'm an app on your pc needs to follow in windows features so i'm just going to leave it as it is yeah and if anything happens then we just come back to this yeah So 
so the update is actually taking longer so i'm just going to click on this yeah so that we get the windows future um, features update so i'm just going to pause it so anything that comes up yeah, i'll come back and notify you so what he's saying is here we are So this in this, how do I fix this? So basically say we are currently having a connection issue. So if you get this scenario, so this is what I'm gonna do, yeah. So I'm just going to close it. And then reopen it. So the, this installation was canceled. So I'm just going to close this bit as well. So what I'm gonna do is reopen the Epic Game Launcher. So, so basically this is what happens. So, um, update required. So we're just going to click this here to get the update. So as you can see here, the update is being downloaded. So basically once the update is completed, this is what you actually prompted with. Yeah, to actually create a new account, right? So what you do is, select whatever way that you want to sign up yeah so i'm just going to i'm just i'm, I'm just going to sign on with just gonna click on the sign up yeah so sign up with an with email so that's what i'm going to do so i'm just i'm just going to pause it so you can go ahead and do what what you have to do so I'll, I'm just going to sign up here yeah, and log in quickly. So basically, once you sign up and sign in, this is where you actually take in. So once you take into this page, yeah, then you click on this Unreal Engine. So this will actually, yeah, I don't know, for some reason it's running a bit slow. So I'm just going to pause it for the whole page to, uh, to open, then I'll, I'll get back to so basically this is what you actually get when you click on the unreal engine yeah so this is what we're actually going to do next yeah so we click on the install engine so basically this is where we're taking so we click on this that we accept the terms So we select the location and then we create the shortcut. Then we click on install. So this might take a while. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna pause the video while the whole thing installs. So as you can see here now, we've got the installation completed. So we click on the launch to launch it actually. So we wait for it to launch. So I'm just gonna pause it. So it's actually requesting to install plugins. So we just click on the install plugins. So fix now. So profile files not associated. So fix now. So you can go to the marketplace and install the plugin. So I guess I'm going to leave the video here. So as you can see on the next video on this topic here, yeah, we will try and create our first project and we see how we can actually um, build our first game right so once again if you've not subscribed to the channel i suggest you do so because i've got lots of videos coming up here so here obviously you can you can actually install some plugins here to get yourself started here so yeah so wherever you are good morning afternoon evening peace